I think this is um, a kind of pivotal point for us, the harmonisation of the, the CHS and it, the way that it's been a very inclusive um, process means that there is a, a huge wave of commitment but there is also a lot of work for us to do going forward and I think if we can maintain that sense of inclusiveness and of all the agencies in the north and in the south, small agencies and large agencies being involved in the continuing development and the adoption of the CHS, I think it'll be a fantastic opportunity for not just the harmonisation of the CHS itself, but for the harmonisation of the ways that we work across all the different agencies. Well, we've just started to look at the CHS, started to think about how we might use it. I'm really excited because I think there are opportunities for me as um, the Director of Organisational Development to use some of the things in the CHS to really help internal capacity building. But I think really a lot of the, the value of it is going to be both for our own staff in the field, but also as a tool to help partner capacity strengthening. For me, from a people perspective, one of the most exciting things about the CHS is the way that the staff and the volunteer element has been built into the framework, which gives us a clear line of sight between um, the work that's done internally and the success of programmes in the field. And I think that means that things like quality and accountability of our humanitarian programmes, and indeed our development programmes, is a responsibility of the whole organisation, not just of those people who are in the front line.